Hi, welcome to our auditing theory discussions. Today we will demonstrate the concepts of test data, integrated test facility, and parallel simulation, which would often end up in uh, mystery among accounting students and accountants alike. So don't fret now, as we will demonstrate all of these concepts in this video. A good memory aid, and perhaps a guide, is to think of the title Game of Thrones. Yes, Game of Thrones, because in our case, it's just a game of indices. And learning how to index your columns and records is really the key concept of SQL, the concept of which will break down integrated test facility, test data, and parallel simulations as to how they work. Okay, hi. Uh, we need not reinvent the wheel, so we just need to go to SlideShare. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me, so we have a good uh, illustration of uh, what a test data approach here. Um, we have the auditor creating the test data, and then the manually processed results. And in here, um, the transaction test data is entered into the system, and then the output of the computer compared with the manually processed. Output. Of course, in the real-world scenario, co coordination and permission from IT is required. Um, the manual data, of course, must be checked before it's entered into the system. And, um, of course, you won't go through the forms, okay? So, if you're familiar with QuickBooks where you enter um, the data into forms, this one is go through the tables. Go through the tables immediately. Okay, so, let's demonstrate that. So you will understand. So um, here we have two access databases. One is uh, representing the auditor's application, and the other one uh, represents the database. So all of these concepts of a uh, computer-assisted auditing techniques, um, it all involves database-to-database -database manipulation and transactions. Okay, using SQL. That is why uh, SQL is at the heart of this computer-assisted auditing techniques concepts, like test data approach. So let's get started. So what we will do is that we will insert <coughs> this, um, rather the test data. We will insert this. As you can see, it's almost the same. In fact, it has the same. Uh, table name table general journal but it's a from different database which auditors app and uh, the index column is actually the description in its counterpart in the company audit's uh, table general journal which is blank okay so um, if we're gonna take a look at uh, uh, check one general ledger for example uh, accounts payable um, we only have one entry here so after the insertion um, we have we will have uh, two data entry entries here okay one with the description of test data okay so so easy so as you can see here um, this is um, a query builder Okay, so if we're going to look at the design view and take a look at the uh, SQL view, this is how it works. Okay, insert, select from, as you can see here, uh, the target database which is company audit. Okay, and it selected the data its own from its own table and inserted into the table general journal of. Uh, the company audit okay let's get started uh, it, how 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 we how I did this is just using the query builder and you just have to right click okay, after uh, selecting the table showing the table this is actually the table of the auditors application so we have selected that and then we have right click again anywhere in this part um, then query type and the append query that's what we're looking for 
once we do that um, we enter first the target database which is company RDT okay so we've already done that and we'll automatically uh, fill up this list here okay okay so um, I think it's better if we uh, create or rather I will just make another video for that okay so um, uh, here's the what column are we gonna append this columns to in other words what columns are we gonna insert our test data so as you can see it's almost similar account data okay because I just copied this database and renamed it okay so the difference uh, column is just the index and description okay so of course it will also automatically fill up the list you don't need to worry about that all you need to do is just the matching part okay so we'll just insert as you can see we prompted ready whether we're going to insert that of course we will do that 14 rows and we've successfully inserted so that's how it works so if we're gonna um refresh this we already have the test data as well so that's how um the test data approach works so it's now here in the system okay our pretend system of our company and then when we look at the general ledger for example we also have to refresh that we also have the test data here so um if we're gonna go to the design view and click the total and then save it again uh, click it again open so we could not uh, sum it because of this discrepancy you could not group by this I'm sorry sorry I am so sorry okay yeah correct because um, they have different values so we could not group together so anyway um, it suffices our example that the test data is already here so um, here we're gonna look at cash for example uh, go back to design view and show uh, we're gonna show the uh, description as well group by save no we need not uh, use the totals so you can deselect we should not select the total so we can see the details and if we're gonna click we have the test data here okay it's similar but the description tells us that it came from the this data database so as easy as that so for example if we are the auditor then you can uh, presumably say that uh, it's really working fine so that's how easy it is right it looks so easy except that in the real world it's complicated because uh, there are security issues things like that and uh, conflict of interests so we're done with the test data approach I'll proceed with the other ones. Okay, we're back. Um, actually, uh, the test data approach is pretty similar to the integrated test facility because they're both using fictitious transactions, test data. So what's the difference? The difference is merely timing. Uh, test data it's a one-time insertion of the test data into the system and it's ready um, it has a an equivalent um, manual results okay which 
the audit auditor has prepared as we've already defined it earlier but in ITF it's a continuous uh, monitoring okay of controls so it's not one-time entry and because of that an integrated test facility has to be created okay so what what does integrated test facility means it's just a program right created by the IT um, of the company or the IT of the auditor that is why it's very important that um, accounting students should understand what SQL means because SQL is at the, at the heart database accounting is the at the heart of this matter okay so let's demonstrate that so for example um, this is now the integrated test facility so earlier we said it's the auditors application but right now supposing this is the integrated test facility and these are codes that runs the test data okay into the system periodically okay from time to time and then you already have here the data so for example uh, in the general journal we have a data entered on january 11 we have a data entered into january 9 okay etc etc so uh, and then you have the reports here one without and one with the test data approach so it's pretty similar if we're going to take a look at this one it's just a test data okay and it's the same as we have earlier okay as we have demonstrated earlier so these three are part of the test data approach while this one is part of the integrated test facility okay of course the auditor could not use both or if he could afford it but in our example uh, we just retained for purposes for purposes of comparison Okay, so this one from the ITF. So ITF has, uh, as we said, um, reports without ITF data and re reports containing ITF information. So this one, it contains ITF information. The other one does not contain. So how we did this, like I said, go back to the game of uh, indices reminder, Game of Thrones. If you're a fan of Game of Thrones, it's just a game of indices. So we're going to look at the design view. We merely filtered. As you can see, um, those that are not test, test data, this, the description is blank. So we merely filtered is null, meaning only those that are blank are retained in this table. So in other words, without. So we filtered only for blanks. So we only use those that are blank description okay on the other hand we did not do anything here because we want to select everything okay so we need not use a criteria so that's it that's how simple it is parallel simulation so um we've already seen everything so we need not I demonstrate this through access it's pretty uh, self-explanatory there's only the actual data but this time we have two application one from uh, the auditor and one from the client okay this is the client's application there is no uh, special application here just the client's application and then the auditor's application similar data it's like the auditor borrows the data and uh, with permission and processes it with his own software okay so the difference between um, a parallel simulation and ITF is that the integrated test facility or ITF is the program is part of the client's application okay there's just a little tweak in the system so that it could uh, accommodate the ITF um approach or the goal of the auditor so their similarities with parallel simulation is 
with regards to the applications be, being used with regards to the program and then the similarities between the ITF and the test data of course I've already explained that is the test it's just test data but it's more on the timing okay so as uh, parallel simulation and test data approach there are no similarities because uh, one parallel sim uh, test data has no actual data I mean it uses test data whereas parallel simulation uses actual data and there is no um, extra or additional application being used okay so that's it for now I hope you like my video and don't forget to subscribe.